everybody, Dee Dee here. And as always, I'm super stoked to be here sharing with you. This is an art journaling YouTube hop. Here are our fabulous sponsors, Umwow Studio, Finnebear, Viva Las Vegas Sam, Seven Dog Studio, Prima, lots of things. I'll be working on, lots of companies, I should say. I'll be working on this page today. Here are some close-up shots of the grungy, distressed, kind of glorious page that I've been working on. This hop is all about what art journaling means to us. And we have some really fabulous people lined up and some really great um, art journal pages for you to see. So check it out. I am starting with a piece of 9 inch by 12 inch Canson watercolor paper. I love the sturdiness of Canson watercolor paper. I love that I can cover it in gesso and then put my acrylics on it. I love that I can watercolor on it if I want to. I love it. Um, I did cover it in gesso, Liquitex gesso, and then I'm going to heat that dry. And I'm not, I can't remember why I splattered on it. I'm not really sure. And I'm not gonna, I mean, I, I can't remember. It, it was just a couple days ago and, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, this is some, hmm, what did I just have? Blick, Blick acrylic paint. And it is a heavy body paint, but, and I love acrylic paint. It is my favorite medium. Um, and the reason that I love it so much is because it's permanent when dry. It turns into plastic, acrylic plastic, and like in very kind of like crude, late, layman terms. Um, it, but I love the look of watercolors that you can get with watercolors. However, more often than not, my watercolors turn out muted and then they're not permanent. So if I add more water to them or another layer, then they're reconstituted and the color starts to shift. So when I am playing with acrylic paints, I very frequently like to add in loads and loads and loads of water. The only thing to keep in mind when you do that to acrylic paints is that then you are separating the molecules of the binding that's in the acrylic paint. And so it doesn't create like a cohesive layer that's bound together. Okay, so keep that in mind because um, if you're working on like a very um, high profile piece of artwork, then you are going to need to add other things than just water to keep the binding aspect in your artwork. Okay. So that it's holds up to the test of time, but I'm just art journaling and I'm not just art journaling cause I love art journaling. And that's what this whole video is about. This whole YouTube hop actually, uh, art journaling is a place for me to experiment to explore, to play with my tools. You can see here now I'm using a Stabilo Marksall pencil. And this Stabilo, um, it's kind of like it's at my table and it's kind of stubby and I don't keep it sharpened all the way. And I'm using it both dry and wet as well as sort of turning it into a paint. And I'm turning it into a paint by scribbling it in the bottom of a cup. And I added some golden fluid matte medium to make it permanent when it's dry. And then I added a tiny bit of water as well. So I used it to grungy up, grungy up, to grunge up my background. And then I also did some scribbling with the Stabilo Marks All, both wet and dry, on directly onto the paper. Uh, I do sop up some extra moisture when I have it and I like to keep like a piece of muslin cloth on hand and that works really well for me and I love having that kind of dyed piece of muslin then to use in a project later. And then so in, in like in the most basic terms for me art journaling is just a place to express myself so and not just because I really need that I I art journal about whatever um what's happening or experimenting with new supplies or new tools or maybe I just need to get some words out or whatever so I also try to incorporate in each page something that I do absolutely love. And that is so that I still have a connection to the page, even if it doesn't go where I want it to, because more frequently than not, I am experimenting with new colors or techniques. So that would be those three really big black stripes that you saw in the previous um, page in the, on the page that I'm working on now. But that I set to the side. And then this is a printed out picture of me of my Facebook profile page. And I really do love this picture. It's so super cute. Uh, and I just used some golden fluid matte medium to adhere it to some cardstock so that it had some nice stability to it. And then I'm distressing the edge with a black 
archival ink pad. And the reason I'm doing that is because where I cut it with the scissors, then there was a white edge showing and I didn't really like that. And I'm stamping this Viva Las Vegas stamp stamp that says with love. And I really liked the placement of it. I wasn't sure where I was going with this yet. I'm still just having fun at this point. I mean, I kind of have an idea in my brain of what I want to do, but, but I'm also letting the page speak to me and have fun with that. So I just glued that down with some Yoohoo. And I'm going to draw myself a very dark, distressed, grungy crown here with my Stabilo Marks all. I was absolutely loving how the black was looking against the pink and the white. And the pink is actually more of like a berry purplish color, a little bit more purple than magenta. It's really, really a beautiful color. I will have all of the supplies listed for you guys below too. So don't stress about that. Um, it, oh yeah, okay, so I scribbled with my Stabilo Marks all and then I came back in with a wet paintbrush because water really makes Stabilo um, activate and it makes it super dark and rich and it's really fun, especially when it's on paper or in some mixed media layers. And then I stitched really quick um, over like my, my sort of like clavicle area um, of my picture and then I needed to seal my picture. So I did three layers of a matte clear sealer. And the reason that I did three layers was because I know that that Stabilo is going to activate almost no matter what I do anytime I add a wet medium on top of it. As far as I have found, there are no permanent pencils that work like a Stabilo Marksall. And so I just seal it after I've used it and it's crunchy and it's distressed and it's really great. And then here are a whole ton of like sayings and words that I've clipped out of some vintage books that I have and lots, excuse me, there are lots and lots of different kinds here. Um, like I picked some out of a mythology book, some out of a science book, some out of a, just a not an old novel. Um, there's lots of stuff going on, but all of these words or phrases, um, they all have meaning to me and they're all sort of the things that I want to do while I art journal. So some of them are very, like one of them just says mythology, but, but because I'm like aiming for this sense of wonder that I always feel like I get from mythology and, and mythological stories and creatures and beings. And there are other things like, like release or, um, you know, uh, golden or embrace color and, and things like that. So I will, um, in my blog post, I will list out all of the sayings that I found and I'll try to include that in my YouTube video subscription as well so that you can see them and get to know me a little bit more. Cause I really, really, really love how this page turned out and it means a lot to me and it's really fun. So there you can kind of see a close up of some of those sayings. And I'm coming back in with a white Sharpie paint pen. And I love these things. I seriously, I should probably stay top. I should probably take stock in Sharpie because I love the white Sharpie pen so much. It's really fun. I love to add texture with it. I love to use it in stencils. I love to make things stand out and be bolder with it. And I really love to make marks with it. So I did some mark making, um, both freehand. And now I'm going back in with an Amwa Studio stencil to make these marks. Oh, I should say, I kind of blazed right past it really quickly, but those big, the three black stripes that are on my page, I did make those with golden fluid acrylic and carbon black. So it's a really, really intense, gorgeous black color. And then anytime I add white on top of it, it is like magic. I'm a huge white and black fan. I love um, stripes and I love dots and I love, I really love chevrons and especially in blacks and whites and then with a splash of color, just like my page. So that's kind of fun. Uh, I did decide that after I had put those, this is the, hmm, I don't want to be wrong. I can't remember the exact name of this stencil, but I do love it. And as I put, I went back in, I'm going back in now with a black pen to put it on the white areas where I did with the white Sharpie on the black stripes earlier. And it's a really great like juxtaposition, but 
but more um, complementary because it's the black versus the white. And then the white Sharpie is very thick where my black pen is very thin. And this black pen is not the best choice for mixed media. It's just my favorite pen in general. It's what I write in my planner with and what I write all my notes with. Um, and I think it's a Uniball. Hmm, oh, you can see right there. There you go. Uniball like V5 or something like that and I really love the creaminess and the size of the th of the tip but it's a rollerball pen that's really small it's not like big like a gel pen roller pen so it doesn't work that well in mixed media it, it's kind of scratchy and kind of fun though and just a couple more I just decided to spread them out some and not be so um stingy with these and then here real quick you're going to see so I I stamp this writing chevron from Viva Las Vegas stamps in archival ink on some white cardstock and then I cut it out and my intention was to sew it to the page but as I sort of was going towards the sewing machine um, I didn't like any of the placement which is crazy because as I'm looking at it now I'm thinking man I should have just sewn those on because they looked really cool <laughs> But I didn't. So instead I go back in with my Stabilo and I get a little more scritchy scratchy with it around the edges and then sort of in some of the more blank areas as well. I kind of pull in some of that scratchiness of the Stabilo. And I did some writing and it just says basically like my art journal is my place and not anybody else's and I can do whatever I want. So thanks for joining me. Here are some more close-up shots. You can check my blog or the video description um, for the supplies. Also, guys, please subscribe. I love having you here. I always love doing new videos. I've been doing some new things. I joined Chalk Couture recently, and I'm doing that in some mixed media. So subscribe here, and also please join my lovely friends in this blog hop. You can click here also. Um, for the for the next hopper, I think I might be the last one, so we're going back to the beginning. Thanks so much. Bye.